Hello, welcome to Cat with Style Sharma. In today's video, we will see ellipse, conic, polygon, and studio spline lines. So let's start with ellipse. In ellipse command, we have uh, to select a center point of the ellipse that that is not the focus point that is only the center point. And in NX, uh, there is also one option that is quick pick. If you are having two or more points, if you uh, if you let the cursor to be sit here for two seconds, then you will see uh, these uh, three dots. Then you, if you click this, you will get options of selecting the point. So I will select uh, uh, the sketch origin as my uh, the center point of the ellipse, not the focus. And uh, there are uh, option to input the parametric data for major uh, radius and minor radius. But you can also move, you, you can also move the ellipse by uh, this. Okay, so by mistake I move the center because it's not constrained. So I can move this. Now it set the major axis or major radius is to 30 and the minor is 200. If by somehow I made it to be 200, then you will get a circle. So this is also one method to if you want a circle you can also create circle by the ellipse command that is up to you and if you want the ellipse to be rotated at a certain angle because the angle is given here is zero degree if i want i can rotate this ellipse but uh, you are not uh, uh, let's make it ellipse and then rotate it because it's clearly visible that it is rotating in a certain angle and you can set that angle according to your uh, requirements so this is the basic command and and there is nothing else you can uh, learn in this command so let's move on to conic in conic uh, this is a, a line which is controlled by certain parameters so let's see the parameter is the point which uh, from where uh, two tangents are drawn on the curve so let's in, in this we have to select the start point and the end point so let's see this is the start point and uh, this is the end point and i have to select the control point let's select the control point to be there so you will see that uh, this point is controlling this curve and from this point two tangents are there mathematically two tangents are there which are controlling this curve so uh, let's see how this point is controlling if uh, i move this point you can see that the curve is changing the shape according to the position of the point because the tangents are drawn in such a way that the curve is also changing its position so this is the conic which is basic uh, uh, command and there is nothing else you can learn in this command so let's move to the polygon command and uh, in polygon a polygon is basically a uh, you can form rectangle from polygon also because you, thus you have to select the number of sides for example i select the number of sides to be four and i have to select the center point so you are getting a rectangle or square uh, as your wish but uh, why i am not getting a rectangle because the polygon uh, by mathematics the polygon is uh, circumscribed in a circle so uh, you will get only uh, a square in this case but you can also rotate this and if I select the number of side to be more you can see I if I select to be number of sides to be 200 so by mathematical concepts you will see that you will only be able to see a circle because the sides are so small in this case if I decrease the radius I can only see the sides if I increase the radius so you can form a polygon by this method so also a very handy command so let's start studio spline here uh, there are two methods to uh, control a studio spline that is through points or through poles and uh, there is also one thing that is the smoothness which is controlled by the degree of the curve uh, it is set at 3 uh, if you set it at 1 then you will get lines that is the profile uh, like curve but if you increase the degree you will get a very smooth line 
so let's draw a line and i have to specify certain points in it so let's say these are the points that i specify through through points control and if i decrease the degree you will see that at one it will form a profile like shape but if i increase made it quad and made it uh, poly uh, polynomial then it's increased this smoothness of this curve and at the higher degree you will not see any difference because the curve is very simple that is the path is very simple so there is no difference if you increase the degree uh, and uh, let's see how you can control it by points so there are four points through which i can control the curve if i move this point you will see that the curve is controlled by me and you can also set the parameters you will, you will see that you can also set the parameters for the point according to your requirement to control this spine so let's move to the pole method to control the curve through by pole so here we also have to select the points you will see so these are the poles you are if you are saying that and these poles are drawing a uh, tangent on the curve and through that they are controlling the curve so let's see how the curves is controlled by this point if i move this point the curve shape get changes so this is by pole method for studio spine and uh, okay so this is for today if you like this uh, video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next